You can learn a lot about building by looking at items that are already in your inventory. So you click Inventory in the bottom right and find items that you can bring onto the sandbox area. And you must start in the sandbox area. So I've opened this up. I'm going to bring this menu up a little bit higher and I've experimented a bit. So under my category called Stuff for Learning, I have something called a chicken coop. Now let's see what that is. I'm going to click on the computer and drag it out. You see the little arrow coming along as I do that. And then I release my finger on the mouse and lo and behold, I have a chicken coop here. Since I have permission to work in a sandbox area for a while, the object stays here. Now I'm going to right click the object and click edit and now the menu comes up and I'm going to click on it move the menu over, wait first let me close this menu down so it's not in the way I'm going to click back on the building menu, move it out of the way by clicking and dragging it and when I look I'll see that I have the arrows just as when I make a small object and so I'm now also while I have these arrows present clicking control on the keyboard and I'm scrolling out and I'm going to move this chicken coop around so I can see what it is. Now as I look at the menu I can see that there are many different primitives, 15 of them, in this particular object. I also look at the menu options. I can unlink it which will turn it all into separate pieces but I'm going to decide to do something different. I'm going to edit the linked part. So I'm clicking this button and now when I click on one particular part this is called a face. I can now play with this one particular part and if you notice I can click and drag and even move that part up. I can move that part out and it happens to still be linked. If I turn this button off I can now move it as a whole but you'll see I've unlinked that piece. So I can now do some experimenting. And you can see I have that. I'm going to click the texture. And you can see that I have, by double clicking the texture, I could go into my OpenSim library, look at their texture library, and I could change it to something else. Okay, I just decided to change it. Now I think I'm going to change it to something a little more obvious. I'm going to scroll down and let's see what changing it to cobbles would look like. Okay, I'm going to say yes and let me select that. Now oh, that's not too interesting. It's kind of a dark color. Now I just noticed that while I was doing this it no longer was clicked on to edit linked parts. It was changing the whole object. So now I click back on to edit linked parts this time I'm going to go to texture and I'm going to say let's blank the texture out there and then I'll select that one and let's turn the color to uh, a bright green and let's select that and I'm going to make it glow and you can see that by doing this I'm learning how to play with different parts of the object. I'm going to slide this back and so look in your inventory and see if there are objects that you can play with as a way of learning. I'm just rotating around so that you can see that this is simply one of the many objects. Now you can either leave it on the sandbox area so that when you finish it'll disappear after several hours or you can right click on the object again and see that you have the option to take it or to click more and take a copy. When I take a copy it puts the original in my inventory and leaves it here when I click take it takes it away and puts it back into my inventory. So experiment with objects in your inventory, take them apart, learn how they're built and that's a very good way to learn more quickly about building.